how might you live your life differently if you knew that every thought, word, and action was being recorded and sending ripples throughout the universe? These are all important things to consider if we want to harness our quantum potential. Now, in today's standard model of physics, they talk about fermions, which are particles of matter, and bosons, which are force carriers that emerge from the quantum vacuum. Now, while the terminologies vary, the core concepts are all the same. The only difference being that in the ancient wisdom teachings, this field is not only the source of all physical forms and forces, but also all mind or consciousness, which is eternal. This universal consciousness holds all memory and directs the creative forces. In the early 1900s, Nikola Tesla wrote an editorial article called Man's Greatest Achievement. In it, he mentions this field with its prana or creative force acting upon akasha or ether and setting it into tiny spinning vortices to become matter. Then, as the forces subside, matter disappears back into the field. Tesla, always the visionary, asks, can man control this greatest, most awe-inspiring of all processes in nature? If he could do this, he would have powers almost unlimited and supernatural. He could express all the creations of his mind on any scale in forms concrete and imperishable. Can we harness this quantum field? Most traditional scientists would tell you there's no way to tap into the energy of the quantum vacuum or zero-point field. But that is because they are only considering things from the materialistic perspective. They calculate that we need to put an incredible amount of physical energy in to get the same amount of energy back out. So to them, it's a zero-sum effort not worth the expense. This argument, though, is based on treating the universe as a closed system, and it ignores the energy that can be generated and directed by consciousness. In metaphysics, we say consciousness or awareness is primary. That first hermetic principle says the all is mind, the universe is mental, but here mind means universal consciousness or unity consciousness. If we can train our mind to achieve a coherent state of unity consciousness, then we can tap the quantum field. At a practical level, how do we do this? Getting into the quantum space is an art. It is the art of becoming quantum conscious. It takes repetition and training ourselves to access it. But once we do, and we anchor the feeling of it, then it gets easier and easier to access. Now, short of being a yogi who meditates in a cave 12 hours a day for 20 plus years, what can we do to harness this art and reprogram ourselves? Fortunately, there are some keys that can help us transform faster. These are keys that can be integrated into daily life in the moments between our activities. First, we must find our zero point, a state of emptiness. Only then will we be able to access the fullness or the infinite potential of the quantum field. This zero point or ground state is one of coherence. I'm Dr. Teresa Bullard, and this is Mystery Teachings.